right, so Old Christmas Tree, this is my Christmas song for this year. It's my own arrangement. And before I get going on the lesson, you can get the tab for this on my website. Um, I've got tabs for all of my Christmas songs. You can get them individually, or I also put them all together in a bundle that you can get at a little bit better price. I also have my Christmas album. Um, <laughs> and that came about because people were asking me for like standalone audio tracks of my demos for my Christmas lessons. So it's up to 13 songs now. And also 13 tabs in the tabs bundle. Right? So be sure to check that out. Anyways, this one is in drop D, but we have the capo on the second fret, so we're actually in the key of E. And I'm gonna call these frets from the capo. So we're gonna start out with these harmonics. We're gonna be on the seventh fret from the capo. And it's D, G, 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 right? And now we're going to go up to the 12th fret of the E string. And then to the 7th fret of the B string. And it's really important that you let everything ring. So we get the D and the G ringing there. Now the E and then the B. So we don't want to mute out any of those notes. Now the next part is, so we've got B7, E12, and then G5. And again, we want to leave all the strings ringing. And now we're going to go A4, and then back to E12, and then G7. Okay, that's the intro. Now we're going to start playing, and we're going to go... So we just hit the um, G2, and then with the thumb, like a D chord, right? But with the open E, and then we go to this uh, D major 7, just a bar from the G string down. Now we're going to come up here. <laughs> Alright, I really like the sound of that, so we've got a little finger on the seventh fret of the B. Then we hit the open E string with our middle finger while we hit the low A, or the open A. Back to the B string, and then back to the E string on the third fret. Now that is a bit of a stretch, okay? This is definitely the hardest part to play. And <laughs> to be honest, this is the reason I got the capo on. Well, a couple of reasons. I like the sound of it with the capo on. It just gives the strings a bit more delicate sound, but also it is easier to get that stretch, right? Now we let those ring and we hit our third finger on the sixth fret of the G string. Now, we hit the low D, right, the low E string, which is actually, yeah, with the capo, it's actually an E note. And we hit the high E string, and then we kind of get a little finger and put it here on the seventh fret. And we really need to keep all these strings ringing. And then we just do that last note. So, so far, climb up there. Now we repeat it. 
said, we end it like this. So it's kind of the same. It's just, you know, doing it with chords. So we're going to get our third finger on E2 and our um, second finger on D2. And we just propitiate that with our thumb. Two, three on the E. And then get our third finger on B2. And then another arpeggio, all six strings. Okay, so let's go from the beginning. Now, the other reason I wanted to do that down there, because I'm going to slide up now. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of replacing that third finger with my fourth finger and I'm sliding up to the 10th fret from the capo, right? And putting a little vibrato on that note. And then I'm going to bar here on the seventh fret. And then I'm going to kind of release the bar and hammer on from, <laughs> what is that? That's um, seven to eight. And we're gonna slide that down to seven and five. Slide it down two frets again. Leave that D string ringing. Like we're losing that note, right? But I think it works anyways. Because we've got the same note on the open D. And now we're going to go shapes just you know, sliding around. Slide back down. While we play that open D string. And now we're gonna, gonna play this chord, which is sort of like a, a G6 over an A. And we wanna try and leave that E string ringing. In my demo, I, man, I did not play this part very well. I did not leave that E string ringing. So, you know, so when we lift our fingers, we should have the E string and the A string ringing. And then we're back to this. But now we're going to go, this is a C sharp diminished, and it's just the fourth fret of the A, we're muting the D string with our third finger, we're going to play the open G and B2 and open E. So, and again it's an arpeggio with the thumb, and then a B7, and then this. So that's pretty well it but there's a couple of variations in the next go around. But let's play the whole thing so far.
right? So now the second time, we're going to go... Exactly the same. All right, so we're going to come up here <laughs> on the fifth fret. So instead of... Just gonna go down. And we're back to this. Now I changed it a bit here and I went, which I really like. I like that, that um, getting that G string in there. So it's together and then the B and the E together and then all three over the open or the low D three times. Now the last time, so this is where I threw in that cascading lick, and you know, you can do this or not do it, right? Depends how much work you want to put into the song, because this lick actually took me a long time to get together, and it's like, I can't really explain every note of this because there's a ton of notes and the fingering is quite complicated. So really the tab would be the best way for you to get this, you know, to actually learn the notes. But what I can do is just play it super slow and hopefully that will help you to kind of see how I'm doing it. So it's... So hopefully that helps you, but these kind of things are really, it's pretty well impossible to explain. I mean, I could, but it would probably take me like half an hour. <laughs> It'd be like so tedious, right? So anyways, that's it. And then once we hit that open A string, we're going to go back to that chord, which is uh, D2 and E2. Right? And then we just... pluck the first three strings, E, A, and D. All right, so let's take it from the second time we do this.
All right, so that's it for this one. Uh, just a beautiful song, you know, like it really doesn't need a lot because the melody is just so strong. And, you know, I threw in that fancy stuff at the end just because I, I really love the sound of that. Uh, you know, all the strings ringing, kind of almost like a harp sort of an approach. But, it, you know, if it's too much, like, honestly, that took me a long time, and I'm still working on getting it smooth. So, um, you know, if you just want to skip that part and just play it standard there, uh, you know, that'd be cool. I really love working on this song. It's been a really tough year for me, personally. Um, I've had some health issues that put me out of action, and I may have some more coming up, too. So, uh, there's something i got to deal with, but... It sort of put me in a really good space working on this song. It's such a beautiful piece of music. Anyways, I hope you get something out of it. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas, and we'll talk to you next time. <laughs>